Let's take a look now at how we can move between folders or directories up or down. The first thing we want to do is find out where we're at in the command line. So I've run the print working directory command and you can see that we are at the forward slash. So I'm at the top of the directory uh, as this user. Now, if I do an ls command, then I can see that I have my home directory right here. And I know that beneath home is going to be my user wa. Under that is going to be the desktop and then the test folder and then inside the test folder I should find that text file Warren. So there's two different ways that we can get there. The first takes a few extra commands. So we're just going to change directory one step at a time. And this works well um, and it's a necessity if you're not sure exactly where you're wanting to go. So if you're in a network or you're in a machine or you're in an application or you're exploring something that you're not familiar with, you're going to have to go step by step to figure out what is there. So let's start by moving into the home directory. Uh, you remember how we did that. We just change directory and we go home and return. Every time you change directory, look around and see what's around you. So I do an ls and I see that there is a wa directory. So I change directory into the wa directory. I look around there's my desktop, so I change directory again into the desktop, look around, there's test. So at this point I've reached this folder right here. So I want to go into the folder, so I'll just change directory into test, look around, and there is Warren. Now, if I try to change directory into Warren, it's not going to let me do that because Warren is not a directory. Now, how do I know that if I'm not looking at this folder down here? Well, one way that we can do that is with our ls, but we really want to look at it as a list. And so, when I pull up the li uh, after the tack, I can see that this is not a directory. You can see it right there. And then you can see the permission levels and we're going to talk about those in a few minutes uh, in some uh, future uh, videos that we're going to do. So I know that this is just a file and I can't CD into that. I can't change directory into that file, but I'm really curious to see what is in the file itself. So if I type in warn just by itself, it says command not found. Well, there's two different ways that you can get the information out of the file and into your command line prompt where you can actually read it and you can actually move that information, even create another file and copy that information into it. But let's start with the first one. We're just going to do a more command and we're going to put warn after that. Hit enter and you can see this is the 
information that is in that file right here. So what I did is I went to my website during the break and just copied some text and dropped it in there so we would have something to look at. So that's the first way is more. Now there is also another way and it's by using the cat C-A-T and so if we use a cat command and we type in warn it's going to do the same thing so you can see that the information that comes out of these files is the same however there are some things that you can do with the cat and the more that separates them and we'll look at that as well so I know now what is in the file now I want to navigate back up to the forward slash directory the highest level of my directory structure that I have here and so if I want to go up a level I can type in cd space dot dot if I hit enter and then look around again I'll see that I've moved into the test folder so I've moved from here back into here if I do that again cd dot dot up again look at my working directory I see that I have now moved through the desktop back into the WA directory if I do that again and take a look at where I'm at I've moved into the home directory and one more time should get me back to that uh, root level there so CD dot dot moves me back I see where I'm at I'm right there I see what's around me here's the folder that or the uh, directory that I just came from right here okay so there's a whole lot of moving around that I have to do now once I know what is there and I know how the hierarchy works in the directories and the files then I can move a little bit faster by doing some things on the command line to get me there but you have to again know where you're going because you're not going to have the visualization of the command line walking you down through the directory structure but I do know that I can go from changing the directory where I'm at from a forward slash I know that I could go to home and I know after home I go into the WA directory and I know after WA I move into desktop and I know after the desktop I can move into the test folder from there now if I just hit enter and look around where I'm at I can see that I am in this folder desktop looking at this file worn pretty nifty now if I want to move back up to the very top of the directory I can do the CD space dot dot and that's going to move me up one directory at a time until I get back to here but I'm in a hurry so I really want to get there quickly so I can use a CD dot dot forward slash dot dot and enter now if I look at where I'm at now you can see that I moved up all the way to the WA directory and if I do a CD dot dot 
forward slash dot dot again and then look where I'm at I see that I'm right back at the forward slash so these are just a couple of ways that you can move in the command line now let's say that I want to look at the information that is in that Warren file and I've already been there once but I want to see the information without having to go through all of these directories so the easy way to do it and I'll use the lazy way because I already have the command in here it was the way that we got there before forward slash home forward slash wa forward slash desktop forward slash test that's going to put me in this folder which is here to now look at this file but I want to actually see what's in it I don't want to go into the test folder and then look at the information in here so what I can do is I can do a forward slash from there and I can try to do a warn and see what happens now you can see that it stops me at that point so I can't really move any further down through the directory at this point but what I can do is instead of changing directory how about if I do a cat into that folder okay so I'm going to take that folder contents and output it into my command line well instead of changing directories which did not work before how about if I just come back here and I do a cat all the way to warn and there we have it so you can see that by running the cat command all the way down through the directory hierarchy to the actual folder I can see the information that is contained in the folder.